Hi, welcome back. It's Vlogmas Day 5, December 5th, 2021. So, you know what that means. We have to go to window number 5 in our advent calendar. It's in the little toy shop. What do we have here? Oh, perfect. From the toy shop, we have a little choo-choo train. Okay, that's day 5. We'll add it to the little Tupperware bin. Snap that shut. Okay. So, excuse me. Back to the chapter of chapter five of Luke today. I did read it. I'm not going to summarize it because we have the WW Weekly today. <sighs> chapter five is where the call of Simon the fisherman, where Jesus goes out and there to the, so the fishermen are out there on two boats and they've worked hard all night and they didn't catch anything. So Jesus went out and he preached off one of the boats. And then after he was done with that, he had them throw out their nets. But they were a little reluctant because they hadn't, they worked all night and really didn't catch anything. But then they did as he said, and they threw out their nets. And their nets came back overflowing with fish. Enough to almost sink their boats. So their boats were overflowing. So they knelt at the feet of Jesus. And, um, who was this? When Simon Peter saw it, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish they had made seized him and all those with him. And likewise, James and John and the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon, Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. So, and just look, they have caught a lot of men. Look at over the last 2,000 years how much the church has grown. Huge, huge. I think I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. I didn't have time to hit pause. I think I'm... Oh, I don't have the windows open. Okay. I must have flew some dust in my nose. I don't know. All I did was turn the page. But anyways, I turned it too far because we're not on chapter 6. Come on, Marianne. Don't take too much time. we got to get into the weigh-in and the weekly. God comes first. I did go to my... I did have... I've gone to my meeting. I've done church. I've done breakfast. And so I'm preparing to go on my walk. But I thought I'd come on here first. Oh, did I show you my little... Snowmen. I feel cold, so I put some snowmen on. Okay. <sighs> Let's get back to chapter five. These pages are sticking. I didn't even sneeze on it. There we go. They're just very thin. Okay, so then it goes on. And they have the cleansing of the leper, because back then they, they regarded the lepers as unclean. And we see a lot of that going on these days. Where we have to have faith in Jesus. And the healing of the paralytic. And the call of Levi. Um, this was when after this he went and out and saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the customs post. He said to him, follow me. And leaving everything behind, he got up and followed him. And then Levi gave a great banquet for him in his house. And a large crowd of tax collectors and others were at table with them. And the Pharisees and their scribes complained to his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? And Jesus said in reply to them, Those who are healthy do not need a physician, but the sick do. I have not come to call the righteous to repentance, but sinners. So we're still in where we're being called to repent of our sins. And then they have the question about fasting, and he goes on about fasting and why he's not fasting while he's there with the people and when after he leaves that's the time for fasting etc etc so if you'd like to do um the books of luke with me put your comments below and if you don't have a bible like i said and you want a bible you can contact me and i'll gladly send you one okay W. Let's 
ones go up here. So I haven't tracked yet today. See, I have 21 dailies and 28 weeklies. Now I'm on my PC here. It just shows weight and food. So let's start off with the weight. So 197.6 weigh in at the WW meeting. What does that say about me? I lost two pounds because let me go back to oh come on Marianne, get in the app. Just because you sneezed, you didn't sneeze your brains out. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so Minus two pounds. I hope that's showing up. This is very small. I can't see what's going on. So it's showing a 1.4 pound gain since the start, which actually I've lost, technically, I've lost about 20 pounds, excuse me, because I started in July, but they started me over when my insurance started paying for this. I think I've mentioned that before. And now I'm weighing with clothes and shoes and all that stuff. But for this week, I lost two pounds which I was kind of happy with that. I didn't think I was going to lose anything because I did get back on track and I was tracking, but the last couple nights I did some nighttime snacking. And that was with some Ritz crackers and some of those Beanfields jalapeno uh, chips, but uh, nothing like... I didn't have any, like, Tootsie Rolls or anything like that. I didn't have a bunch of sugar. I did have some of my, I did have one pack of my little Graham cookies. I was just going to have the pack of Graham cookies for five points. But then I kept watching uh, TV. I was watching Christmas mu movies last night. So that's, that's going to be my goal for this week is to try to be disciplined about the nighttime snacking. I have to work on that. I'm not going to make a weight loss goal this week. Nothing pertaining to weight. I need a non-scale victory of being disciplined about the nighttime snacking and going more towards zero-point foods for the snacks instead of the chips. Can I have those things? Of course I can, but I went a little too far with the chips. The cookies I didn't. I had, That was kind of surprising. That was pretty much controlled, but the salty snacks and... The, that was the one thing that I picked on my assessment that I tend to eat a lot of salty snacks. And that's what I was going for. And so I probably had a Did I not lose as much because I had too much sodium? I don't know. I didn't weigh myself at home, so I don't know. I, I wasn't checking on it. My main thing was just to get back into tracking and activity because I went like five or six days without it. So a two-pound loss was pretty good for this week considering that I didn't even start tracking again until Tuesday and then the last couple of nights I kind of went off the not the deep end but I was going into the old habits so anyway let's get to the weekly because we're already eight minutes in I'm trying not to make 25 minute videos because people just don't have time especially during the holiday season so where are we so if the weekly technique is well the whole month is about balance so the weekly technique this week is make the most of your budget and you'll find that in your app Hit that try this want to enjoy the meals and foods that matter most to you plan ahead so you can optimize your weekly personal points budget and keep eating what you want so i need to start optimizing my budget maybe I still had a two pound loss because I didn't exactly track my veggies. So I know I have those extra points when I do that. Maybe that helped. Maybe I optimized my budget by eating those big salads at lunch. So I don't know. So here's the deal. Focus on a meal that matters to you. Is Sunday brunch your thing or do you have a birthday party coming up? Okay, so this is important during the holidays because maybe you have a party to go to this weekend. Maybe you have a brunch after church this weekend. 
So what can you do? Number two, visualize your plate. Determine what foods and how much of them you'll eat. So if you kind of have idea what's at the buffet or what's going to be at the party, just determine if you're going to have one dessert, if you're going to see if they have vegetables and veer towards that and what kind of proteins you're going to have. And pre-track that meal if you can. You don't always know what's going to be there. So sometimes that's hard. See how many personal points you'll spend. So, and then manage the leftover points. So make the most of the remaining personal points in your weekly budget. Earn a few or I up zero point foods if needed. So if you got a big thing that you're going to, you can have like zero point foods that day and then have points, use your points at the party. Uh, and then also during the week, pre-planning like eating lots of vegetables and having the rollover points to go into your weeklies, doing activity and have those points going into your weeklies. Drink your water so you have more daily points while you're eating <laughs> your vegetables and zero point foods and then you get an extra daily point for that day so you're not so you can actually roll over the four points. So that that way you can build up your budget for the day that you're going to need the most points. It can be done if you plan. You don't just because you have a party to go to or whatever, it doesn't mean you have to give up. You do not have to give up. You can plan for it. You don't just plan on it's Christmas time, so most people gain 8 to 10 pounds or whatever it is, so I might as well just enjoy it. You can still plan and enjoy. Now, I'm not in your position because I'm not planning on going to any parties this year. I'm not planning on going to see, let's see what happened on Thanksgiving. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't, sometimes I'm left with, I'm a grown girl and I should be able to choose. <laughs> and then not being able to choose because people get offended and mad at me if I just want to stay home. But I do want to stay home for Christmas. Maybe I'll go there for New Year's Eve. Something's coming up with one of my family members this next week, and I might need to be sticking in town for that person, and the other ones can just have their Christmas over there and enjoy their family. Because, granted, I spent, <laughs> I wasn't with my son last Christmas, and so I don't want to just leave him here. He has to work and stuff, so he can't do the traveling. So my point is, I'm not really having to worry about that stuff. I Personally, I just have to worry about my own discipline seeing the stuff around here. Like, I have some fat-free hot chocolate. I have this fat-free hot chocolate. Let's see how many... Where is the barcode right there? Okay. I'm going to scan it and see what it says. Where's the... It's upside down. Here we go. It's one point. I should put... Since I'm cold right now, and I'm probably going to be cold tonight, maybe instead of going for some chips, I could just make a cup of this for one point and sip it and enjoy it and get warm... Before I go to bed. So that idea just came in my head. So glad I thought of it. But that's that's something that I can do. But as far as the parties and everything, I have a girlfriend that would like me to come over and watch Christmas movies, but that involves eating lasagna and she's keto, so it's gonna be all the fat that I can't have. Yeah, I can have it, but my doctor doesn't want me to. I'm recommended not to have that stuff right now. I'm not recommended to go on keto and have butter and all, all that stuff. I can have a little bit, but I can't have it all and all those cookies and stuff. i got to be taking care of my health. So that's my biggest goal is to take care of my health. So back to the thing. Make the most of your budget. If, if you know you're going to go somewhere... Pre-plan, pre-track if you can, zero-point foods, go to as many virtual meetings as you can, go, go to connect, go. We have all the tools like I talked about yesterday. We have a lot of support. Watch YouTube suggestions, connect suggestions, virtual meeting suggestions. 
This week, they're going to be talking about it at all the meetings. Go to as many meetings as you can. Learn as many ideas as you can from those meetings. People bring on their uh, their ideas at the, these meetings. If you have unlimited access to meetings and you get a chance that where you're just bored and you're going to board a meeting, instead of doing that, watch a meeting. See if you get any ideas from there. Hundreds of people on those meetings. Hundreds of brains thinking and figuring out all this for us. So anyway, let's dive a little deeper. Around here, we're all about balancing the meals that matter most while still staying within your budget. You've probably heard us say everything is on the menu, and we mean it. That's because the Personal Points program was created to be actually livable. Want an arsenal of food of tools to work your budget to do just that. Lean on your individualized zero point foods list, earn personal points, and take advantage of rollovers and weeklies. So, zero point foods list, earn some personal points. We have that ability now. Take advantage of the rollovers and the weeklies. You can earn interest on your weeklies. And the recipe of the week is chocolate fudge cookie bites. And they gave me something at the meeting. They gave a uh, weekly recipe was what I just said. The chocolate fudge cookie bites, two to three points for one cookie. <laughs> but anyways, so they have the QR code that you can scan and it says scan for the recipes of all the delicious cookies seen on the front. Ooh, lots of cookies. And there was something else. For my particular problem, go to my home page. <sighs> okay. Okay, at my home page I'm gonna scroll, scroll, scroll. One thing they showed me, showed us at the meeting was make WW work with your life. Scroll down, scroll down till you get to that. Make WW work with your life. Use these tips and recipes to stay on track all day long. So they got 10 non-scale victories to celebrate, 21 veggie pack lunch ideas, save time at the supermarket, our fave lightened up Hanukkah recipes, but this is the one I wanted to show you. They have one that's called 113 Snacks to Make with Zero Point Foods. So that's something that personally I'm going to investigate because I'm having trouble with the late night snacking. So that is something for me to look at. They've got avocados recipes to try and then... Is everything I'm not gonna buy avocados, beans, peas, and lentils. So there's where I can try some recipes. Creamy black bean dip, but then I'm gonna have my chips with that, aren't I? But I guess you can put cucumbers or something in it. Excuse me. I can't have the air fried crispy five spice chickpeas because of my teeth, but white bean bruschetta bites, that looks good. Spicy no bake nachos. Now that's that would be something good for me that I wouldn't have to deal. It's four points, same as a serving of chips, but maybe a little bit more jazzed up that it might satisfy me better. Bittersweet chocolate and peanut butter energy bites. Ooh, two points. That's on my plan. Ooh, prep time. What's in it? Oats, canned chickpeas, water, honey. Vanilla extract, powdered peanut butter. I don't have any powdered peanut butter. I only have regular peanut butter. Anyway, those look good. Mm, mm, mm. So there's a lot of ideas in there. So that's we have our app to help us get through this season. Do you know, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not planning on going for Christmas, but I might end up having to go so that I have less stress. But I don't want to go. I want to stay here and spend Christmas Christmas with my son this year. I have my own family here and people, I don't know why some people in my family tend to forget that, yeah, I'm not married anymore, but I still gave birth to him. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to complain about anything, but I don't want to get stressed out. Like I got, I got a little bit stressed out and just not stressed out, ridiculously stressed out like I had been over the past few years, but just annoyed and 
just not in the mood to take care of myself. When, when this stuff happens, it makes me just feel really bad. And then that's when I just say, why am I trying to do anything for myself? But that's, I don't want to get in that for Christmas. That's why I'm reading the books of Luke. I'm trying to get more into the real meaning of Christmas. And that's the reason for the season. And just be maybe a little more spiritual rather than all this hustle and bustle and worrying about eating and worrying about everybody else and they're not hurting their feelings because I don't want to go over there and party. I don't feel comfortable around a bunch of drinking and stuff. So I just don't feel... I want to have a happy Christmas <laughs> this year. I'm grateful for everything I have. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful. I love my family, but I don't, I'd like to just stay here and be in my safe space, I guess you would say. But anyways, why am I making excuses for that? <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, thanks for watching and don't laugh at me if I end up going to everybody's house for Christmas. <laughs> I have a hard time saying no to people and food. <laughs> Just learn the word no, Marianne. Just learn the word no. Use it to your best. <laughs> I need support with that. Help. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, I got to process this video and get out on my walk because this week I'm going to... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't know. I'm gonna, what's the right word? I'm just gonna, I'm just not gonna be defeated. Thanks for watching.